Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Yama, and today I'm wearing gloves because I'm going to teach you about hoop. Oh, what is that smell? Oh my goodness, it smells like, it smells like poop. Mm, but what is poop? It's brown, it's smelly, mm, it comes in all shapes and sizes. But what is it? Your parents get upset if you touch it. Ew, you should never touch poop because it can make you sick. But this, this is a fake poop. Mm. Yeah, wouldn't it be weird if poop had eyes? Ah! Mm, what is it made out of? Why is it brown? Does everyone poop? Hmm. Yes, everyone poops. Boys poop, girls poop, policemen poop, doggies poop. Elephants have really big poop, like enormous poops. And do you know what? Doctors even poop. Everyone poops and it's a natural, absolutely normal process. But the question is, what is poop? To fully understand what poop is, we need to learn about the digestive system. And I have a diagram right here. This is the digestive system. That's a pretty big word. Can you say it with me? Digestive system? Oh, it's like a bunch of tubes. It's like a maze of tubes. It goes all the way from your mouth, way up here, to your stomach, and it goes all the way around right to your bum. Let's do an experiment to see how the digestive system works. Okay, come over here. Whoa, look at this plate of food. Oh, it looks so good to eat. I just want to eat it now. Um, 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 um. Oh, but we need it for a demonstration, so I can't eat it right now. So we're going to use this to show you the digestive system. The first thing you do is you put the food in your mouth and you chew it. Um, 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 um. And then when you swallow, it goes down your esophagus. And it's kind of like this big pipe that leads right to your stomach. Well, let's look at this food. What do we have here? <gasps> we have some red tomatoes. So we put it in our mouth um, 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 and we chew it. And then we swallow, go home, and it goes all the way down into our stomach. So we go like that. Um, 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 oh and some purple grapes, whoa! And these are called golden berries. They're really orange. Wow. And speaking of oranges, we have an orange. Let's put some orange in there too. Let's put some milk inside here, whoa! And milk is really good because it makes your bones nice and strong. When things go into your mouth, you get all crushed up. So we go crunch, 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 just like your teeth. Um, um, um. And then when it goes into your stomach, your stomach actually squishes it too. And there's a secret ingredient. Your stomach has something called enzymes. And the enzymes help break down even more. And from your intestines, it starts going around here and your body starts to absorb all the nutrients that's in the food. And that's super important because you need the nutrients to grow really, really big. That's why it's really important to eat a lot of healthy food. And so your food travels through the intestines, squish, 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 squish. Whoa, look at that. Oh my goodness. And then it goes into your large bowels. Look at how big these ones are. And you can see it's really kind of like a soup. Oh my goodness. Oh. And once it hits the large bowels, that's where a lot of that water gets reabsorbed into your body. And did you know your body is actually 65% water? Whoa. Wow. That's why it's really important to drink lots of water during the day. Go, 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 go. 
And when it starts reabsorbing the water, the poop gets harder and harder. And then it goes all the way through and it gets to this part, it's called the rectum. And then by that time, it's really kind of solid and you can start feeling it. You get that sudden feeling like, I have to poop. One more thing, in your digestive system, there's bacteria. And that bacteria, they look like these little bugs. They actually help break down the food even more. And that's why it's super important that after you go to the washroom, you wash your hands because you want to get all that bacteria off because sometimes it can make you really sick. So remember, every time you go to the washroom, you have to wash your hands. Okay, now that we know how the digestive system works, let's talk about all the different shapes and sizes of poop. Because poop comes in many different forms. And to help us, we have the poopometer. The poopometer helps doctors figure out what's wrong. So the best type of poop is this one. It kind of looks like a brown snake. Whoa. And sometimes your poop gets really hard, almost like a lumpy chocolate bar. Or it gets even worse, it's like little rabbit poop. And that means that you're constipated. And the thing that will help with constipation is drinking lots and lots of water and eating food that's full of fiber. Whoa! And things Ooh. like carrots and beans and berries and peas, all these things have lots of fiber. So it's really important to have fiber and water in your diet. And sometimes your poop goes the other way and it gets really, really runny Ooh. and very smelly. And that's called diarrhea. And diarrhea can be caused by a lot of different things. Sometimes you're really sick, oh, like a virus or a bacteria. Sometimes it's from eating too much candy. Oh goodness, that's why it's not good to eat a lot of candy. <sighs> I'm really pooped about talking about poop. Oh my goodness. But I actually had a lot of fun and I learned a lot too. How about you? Did you have fun? Did you learn? Oh, that's really good, because do you know what? Poop is really important. It's not silly or gross, because everyone does it. Boys, girls, policemen, firemen, even doctors poop. Everybody poops. So the next time your doctor asks about your poop, don't feel embarrassed or shy, because everybody does it, and it actually helps the doctor know what's going on. Okay. I have something really exciting for you. Are you ready? It's a pop quiz. I love pop quizzes. Okay, let's see. Question one. Does everyone poop? Yes, everybody poops. It's a normal process. And don't feel silly or embarrassed if somebody asks you about your poop. Okay, number two. And I have a diagram here. Do you remember what this is called? This is the structure that goes from your mouth all the way to your stomach. What was it called? Hmm, it was a really big word. It's called the esophagus. Esophagus. And for question number three, what do you do after you go to the bathroom? you have to do it every single time. What do you do? Hmm. That's right, you wash your hands. And you have to wash the front, you have to wash the back side, and in between, you want to wash all the different parts of your hand because there can be bacteria and viruses. Oh goodness, gotta wash your hands. Okay, last question, number four. What is it called when your poop is really hard? Ouch! It's called constipation. And 
If you feel constipated or your poop is really hard, you want to make sure that you have lots of fiber and you drink lots and lots of water because that will help make your poop nice and smooth again. And sometimes you need to go see a doctor and they can give you medication to help make your poop nice and soft. Well, that's all I have for now. We'll see you next time. Bye.